We know so little about finances. We are not taught at school about finances. There is a reason behind it though. Because of these you should make it imperative to invest in your own financial literacy FL, as I like to call it. This is your future. Invest in yourself. Invest in your future. Do not keep spending money on things that are not investments. Instead invest in yourself. Invest in your financial development. To quote Sharon Lecter, co-author of Rich Dad Poor Dad. I love my children and want to ensure they get the best education possible. Traditional schooling, while very important, is no longer enough. We all need to understand money and how it works. So true. I see so many people around who have no idea how to manage their finances and do nothing to secure their future. They get to their retirement age and they realize how little they're going to get from the government. And they go from one day to another carefully spending their money so that there is enough by the end of the month. Why not think about your future now and make sure that when you get to your retirement age you won't have to worry about your retirement because you will have enough money to live the way you want. Invest in yourself. Buy books and DVDs to learn. I keep investing in myself and it pays off. I buy books and DVDs and I attend all seminars I can. I am investing in myself and so could you. And so should you. Take every opportunity to learn something useful, something that will help you in your life. I believe that there are books that everyone should read. Books that everyone would profit from. Books I recommend to everyone I know. Books that everyone should buy and read it every now and then. One of them is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It is an amazing book that will teach you financial literacy in an easy way. Here's what Zig Ziglar, a world-renowned author and lecturer said about this book. Came across them in my library a few days ago. I didn't hesitate even for one second. I grabbed them without looking at the price. These books are worth any money. These books may save you so much money that they could easily be sold for thousands of pounds. But they only cost about ten pounds each. Here's the best part though. I found them on sale. In the library they often sell books they don't need, and these books cost me one pound each. Unbelievable. But here's the best bit about these books that I purchased from the library. The library doesn't stock these books. Let me say it again, the library doesn't stock these books. Can you believe that? Such amazing books, they're selling them, and they don't even have them in stock so that people could read them. So your homework for this week is to invest in one of these books at least, and read them of course. Speak to you soon.